Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paige and today I thought I would do a styling video. I'm very excited for this video because I basically just took pieces from my dad's wardrobe and I created outfits centered around those pieces. I know a lot of you guys are home right now. You know, I'm back home in Pittsburgh. I have my apartment in New York. I only thought I was going to be home for a couple of weeks and now I am home for two months and probably another month and I didn't bring a lot of clothes home. I honestly just brought home a bunch of sweatshirts. One day I was doing laundry. I went in the closet we have downstairs to get a hanger and I saw this really cute sweater that was my dad. I threw on his sweater and then I wanted to wear a collared shirt under it so then I asked him for a collared shirt and I basically just put it together an outfit centered around his pieces then I was starting to look through his wardrobe and I found really cute things and I was like oh my gosh I'm just going to start wearing some of my dad's pieces. I figured a lot of you guys are at home at your parents house and why not just like look through their wardrobe, it's fun to find new pieces. I know a lot of people like that like vintage look and you know your parents can just have those pieces in their wardrobe and you, you would never know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was really fun and I hope it just gives you guys some inspiration. I feel like these outfits could be a lot better if I was in my New York apartment because I could accessorize them better. But you know, I worked with what I got here. I thought they were pretty good foundations for an outfit so let's just get right into the video. I saw the sweater in my living room closet the other day. I thought it was so cute. I love the plaid, I love the colors. I threw it on and I just felt like it was missing something or I could make it cuter. Very big too, it's an extra large. I think my dad's mostly an extra large large. So I asked my dad if he had a white collared shirt that was cotton, because I, anything else I feel like would look weird. And he gave me a couple of options. I tried this one on, it is a size extra large. But whenever I threw it on, it just it ended up working. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. I'm using natural light and it really works. So I'm going to throw this on and show you guys. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to throw this on right now. This is what the collared shirt looks like on me. So it doesn't look too big on me, but I'm going to throw the sweater over it now. I think last time I wore it, I just tied this in a knot or something. Or did I? I don't know. I don't think it, yeah. Okay, so. The sweater is over it. I unbuttoned one of these so it could come forward better. And how cute is this? I actually have a white headband that would look better with this. It would be really cute if I had some type of black mini skirt since this is long and that would look really cute under it. But all of my majority, the majority of my clothing items are in New York and I'm not there right now. So I found this black dress and I'm going to try to put it on and have it just show the bottom of it so it looks like a skirt. So let's see how that works. It's not my favorite fabric with this, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And I think it looks pretty good. We could do white sneakers or these dogs. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. The mirror is in the bathroom because I don't know why I can't find a good space for it in the bedroom that I'm filming in. I just can't see any of the colors of the items I'm wearing whenever I'm filming in there, but it's fine. We're in the bathroom. I'm on my white sneakers, and actually these are my dad's socks too. I just found them in his room because I don't have any tall white socks here. So these are his socks. I don't know, I'm not obsessed with the black skirt anymore. I feel like it's just a fabric, and I feel like it shouldn't be tight. It should be more of like a loose skirt. So I think I'm gonna put on a pair of pants. I'm sorry you guys can't get a good view like this. But that is what it's looking like. I'm on the black pants now. Honestly, you could probably do even light blue jeans that would look cute with this. But I think I like the black pants. I think I honestly would like the white sneakers the best with these black pants. So I'm going to throw these on and then I will show you guys in the mirror. In the bathroom, this mirror is pretty small so I have to like lean down. But here is what the top looks like. And then I have on these pants my white sneakers, and I think this is what I like the most. Let's move on to the second outfit. That was the first outfit, so now I'm going to move on to the second outfit, which is going to be kind of the same vibe. So I found this white sweater. I feel like dads always just have the best sweaters. And I found, I don't even know, what does it say? Okay, I don't know what it says. There's a couple stains on it, but. It's a cute sweater, so I found this white cream sweater. I'm actually just going to do the same thing, wear this collared shirt under it, and then I actually have these really cute thrifted burgundy corduroy pants that I'm going to put on with it, and I thought that would be adorable 
um and then yeah gold jewelry keep my hair the same because i'll probably just wear my hair the same the whole video with this headband and let's see how this turns out oh, my white sneakers these pants are more maroon and they're coming up very red on camera i don't know but then i have on the sweatshirt so cute with the colored shirt under it some gold jewelry that i just have i'm definitely happy with this one i think i want to try to style this blazer that i found in my dad's room definitely will throw on spandex under this but i'm going to try to wear it as a dress and then i could wear even um like a turtleneck under it so let's see how that works this might be a fail because i think this blazer is just way too big on me and the shoulder pads just made me look very buff <laughs> so i mean i don't know we're still going to try um i just have on this turtleneck that is mine it's actually my belt it's actually the only one i have here and i think it's too tight Ugh. maybe if i unbutton it because it's getting a little weird but i honestly just think the blazer is too big for me and i'm not obsessed with the belt and i have this other belt that i found my dad's but there's just no way it will fit yeah the loops just won't fit through so this is as good as we're getting i think maybe the shoulder pads since it's so big i just look really broad it's not the best belt with it you know you can't win them all but i would probably just wear this with um combat boots since the belt has silver in it i just threw on silver earrings and you could honestly throw on a couple you could probably throw on a couple of silver necklaces but i don't really like any of the ones that i have here Perla, oh my gosh, she's drinking my water. Stop it. You have your own water. Here's what the outfit is looking like. You know, I'm not mad at it, and this belt is a little small, so maybe that's it. But, yeah, I don't know. I like the concept of it. What style next? Um, I don't really, kind of really like this shirt, but I feel like it's going to be big on me. But we can either do this shirt. I really, really like this one. So, one of these. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll try this one on first. First, I wasn't sure about this. But I kind of, it's kind of growing on me. Under it, I just put on a plain white t-shirt from my dad's closet. It's kind of big on me, but I kind of like how it looks. I don't know. So, I tucked it into these black pants. And then, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Untucked. Because it is kind of big. With this, I could either wear my Doc Martens or my white sneakers. Oh my gosh, Perla. I feel like I could do either of these shoes. I have on my silver hoops, but I'm thinking about putting on maybe a necklace. So it actually turned out pretty good. I ended up putting on these two necklaces that I got from Brandy and then black jeans. And then I'm wearing my Docs because I feel like this is a Docs vibe. I feel like this outfit is very like Brandy Melville. I was kind of nervous when I was first putting this on that it wouldn't work out, but actually worked out and i'm happy with it and i honestly think i would wear this i think it looks better tucked in too to the pants why don't we do the button ups that i have i have this one i actually have a couple probably don't need to style them all because they're like the same concept there's so many ways to style these but i really 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 liked this one so i think i'm going to do this one and maybe show you guys a couple different ways to style this the first way i'm going to style it is with just a white tank under it so I have a bunch of these and I'm just going to try them both on and see which one I like better and then throw on a pair of pants with it. I wanted to show you guys before I put on the tank top on the white t-shirt that I was wearing previously and all I did was tie it in a knot. I am going to put on the tank top now because I think I'm going to like that a little better but this is also an option that I wanted to give you guys. I just have on that white tank. I put this one up over it. I have my light wash jeans that I thrifted, white shoes. And then my headband that's still on and two necklaces. I really like this. I'm going to show you guys some different ways I like to wear button up. Obviously, you can just leave it open like this. But I love to just tie these and that's really cute. Okay, I need a mirror. <laughs> my camera's dying. No! Okay, I have to be quick. So, I put a mirror right here. Um, you can obviously just wear it like this. But you can also... Let me, let me button it up all the way. Button up the shirt all the way tied it. I feel like sometimes people wear their necklaces forward like this and I just don't think it looks that good on me. So I'm just going to put that in. So then you can just wear it like this. This is really, really cute. 
Um, it's all the way buttoned up, but you can unbutton it. And if you had like a really cute bralette, you could have it showing a little bit. Um, but I'm just gonna untangle because they're all tangled, but this is really cute too. I love this shirt actually. I wear them as dresses if they're long enough. You could even belt one. Um, how else? My dad has an all black one that I really like that I found that you could even wear under, like you could wear that and then a graphic tee under it. There's just so many different ways to wear them. And then you can wear things over top of them. I think button ups are great. I would show you guys different ways, but I've been filming forever and I wanna get these two other things out of the way. I found some really cool jackets that my dad had and he has, oh my gosh. We live in Pittsburgh, so he had a really cool Steelers bomber. bomber. I can't talk. You could be wearing a very basic outfit. Literally, I'm going to just probably show you guys with like a white t-shirt and then some jeans and throw this on top of it and it's gonna look really cute. And then you could just accessorize it. And then I love this jacket. Another jacket that I found too that's really cute. So I'll just put on a really simple outfit and then throw these over top. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys are these sweaters. It has a bunch of Steelers merch and my dad is a really big like football. He just loves sports. I've worn this one before, so I'll probably just show you guys how I'll style this one. I wish I had turtlenecks here. My dad doesn't wear turtlenecks, but that would be really cute. I have my black one, but I wish I had my white turtleneck. You know, I actually might have one. I have a look. But that's always really cute to layer with these sweatshirts. Or you could do the collared uh, shirt again. I just don't want to show you guys that because I already did that. So I'll probably just wear a turtleneck under one of these and show you guys. I just threw in a white tank, some necklaces, and black jeans. I feel like jackets just can be your statement piece. Um, I know it's going to be summer, but, you know, for the fall, winter time. Wear your hair different ways. You can wear it, like, up in a bun, like, curled. I probably wouldn't wear my hair with this. I would just like to wear heels with this to make the outfit more girly. So I'm going to do that. This is the jacket. And then I just have on some heels. See if your dad has a good jacket. Because I would definitely wear this. I guess the zipper is gold. I thought it was silver. So I would probably actually wear gold with this instead. I didn't realize that until just now. But still cute. I just threw on this turtleneck that is mine. But if your dad has one, even better. So I'm just going to throw this over top of it and I have on the same black jeans I was previously wearing and then I like to make sure my sleeves are showing. Last outfit my camera's about to die. So I have on the white turtleneck sweatshirt, some gold hoops, the headband still, same black jeans, white shoes and yeah that was it. This is a really cute comfy outfit and it was really simple. That was everything that I wanted to style in my dad's wardrobe. So that was all it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I will try to link everything that I can below for you. I hope this was a fun video to watch. I had a lot of fun actually making it. I was filming for a very long time though, so I'm sorry if I was getting kind of tired towards the end. I hope it gives you guys some inspiration and it is just a great way instead of shopping to just use old pieces in your parents' wardrobe. Um, even just like look in yours and see what you can find that you forgot about. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. I love you guys all so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.